Hi everybody, so I channeled some information last night in my dream. Um, I'm going to tell you about the dream. I woke up from it and, and knew that it was a message for a few people on my YouTube channel. So please just let me say, before you go tearing your teenage daughter's room apart, please watch this first because I'm sure I probably have well over a hundred people on here that have teenage daughters. You know, and this message I'm getting is only for three people. There's three people maximum that are going to resonate with this message. So please don't, you know, don't assume just because you have a teenage daughter that this is for you. Please actually watch this first. Make sure this resonates before you take action because I don't want to be responsible for, you know, um, you tearing up your teenage daughter's room and come to find out the message was not for you. Um, so I'm getting two, there's a couple different stories. I'm getting that there's a third one too, but I don't know all the details of that one. But and let me say really quick too. So this is, so for this channel, for those of you that are new, I, you know, I, I do love readings. I do like twin flames, soulmate readings. Uh, I'm going to start doing money readings. Sometimes I do, you know, look into witchcraft or just whatever random messages want to come through. But sometimes I do specific videos like this, where it's just for a very small energy group. So this is only for a few people. Um, and as far as my third party readings, I know I haven't done one in about like, it's been like three or four days. I am going to do, um, I am going to do one soon. I have some really beautiful updates for my third party group, but I, there's, I'm getting that some people in the third party group have not caught up to the energy. There's, there's some of, some, of, some people are kind of behind in that energy group just a little bit. So I feel like by like a week, like some people are like with the current timeline, some, some people are about like a week behind the energy. I'm not going to wait a whole week, but I'm just waiting for everybody to just to catch up just a little bit. So you guys will have a third party update within a few days. Um, I'm really, you know, really beautiful energies there. I have some really beautiful updates for you guys. Um, but, um, but yeah, anyway, but this is something separate. And I also want to say that I'm not, I'm not hating on Ouija boards. I'm not saying Ouija boards are evil. Like I personally don't use them just because I don't, um, and this is, there's, okay, so there's two different stories here. One is for a Ouija board. One is for something that someone bought at like a flea market or a yard sale. So I'm going to get into that. But um, I just want to, you know, disclaimer, I'm not, I'm not saying Ouija boards are evil. You know, your craft is your own. It's up to you to do what you feel is right. Um, personally, I don't, I don't like using them. Um, I might someday, I might try to experiment with them again. But I just feel like it's just a lot to have to, you know, open the portal and close the portal and, and make sure nothing's in the room with you and put up protection and all of that. It can just be a lot. So, so I mean, I know there's people that have good experiences with them, but there's also people that have a lot of bad experiences with them. So, so I'm not hating on Ouija boards. I just think that they're a very, they're they're a tool to take seriously. They they open a portal that's much more intense than just cards or, you know, pendulum or or whatnot. You know, like cards are pretty safe if you respect the energy, but Ouija boards, like you have to really be careful. Um. So anyway, please, yeah, please, if this is resonating, please watch this before you tear your daughter's room up. So I'm getting three different stories here. For some reason, I can't channel the details of the third. I might be being protected from that um, because, like, they want you to have this message. But for some reason, maybe you have a lot of psychic protection up where I can't, I just, like, maybe you are, like, powerful. Like, you have some shields up to where I just can't tap in. Or maybe it's just my spirit guides don't want me to tap into that energy because it's, like, too dark or something. I don't know. But for the other two people... And you'll know if you're that third person, I feel, after, you watch, after you've watched this. But for the other two people, so I'm getting for one person, you have a daughter that's 17. I believe she's blonde. I get kind of like a surfer vibe from her. Like almost, because I'm from Santa Cruz, and I almost see like a Santa Cruz kind of vibe. Like laid back, like surfer or skater, like kind of like active, like wears like jean shorts and stuff, you know, has a, like, you know, likes to hang out with people, like has a lot of friends. Um is into some kind of sport or something, some kind of physical sport. Um, for the other person, I don't know about the other person. I don't know about the details of the other one with the daughter. But basically the energy, so that what I got is, and, and so, okay, so if this is your daughter, I feel that you are a witch or you're a psychic or you're both. And I think that your daughter is watching you. So please keep in mind, very specific message. This is only for three people here. So, you know, only take this if it resonates a hundred percent, you would probably be aware of this energy already. Like your daughter's probably been acting weird or different or like secretive. And like, you feel like there's something in her room. Like you feel like 
like a presence, like you're seeing something out of the corner of your eye. You feel something dark. I'm also getting that for this energy group, like you guys are, um, you're witches and you might have your own channel yourself or your psychics or, both, you know, a, mi a, a mix of things. And I'm getting that you've dealt with dark entities before, like you've dealt with demons before. I don't, I think you're conscious of it, but you, you have, this is something that you're going to know how to remove on your own. But I just feel like for some reason you couldn't put your finger on what was going on. I feel like this, this spirit that you're dealing with is very manipulative. Um, and sorry, my, my phone cuts out sometimes. So this video might end up being in two parts. So if, if, if it cuts out randomly, check back on my YouTube channel for the second part. I'm sorry. Bear with me on that. I'm still figuring out this new phone I have, but, um, but yeah, I'm getting the energy of, Okay, so in my dream, it, I, in my dream, I saw myself when I was seven, when I was a teenager. I was like, you know, this little gothic girl, you know, very feisty, very free spirited. I um, I saw like a fire outside a window. I also saw someone taking something really morbid and dark to a trash can. So I'm thinking for one person here, this might have been like a like a doll or something, and maybe or like a Ouija board, and you already you threw it away, but you didn't close the portal. So it's like you feel like it's over, but there's something else you need to do. Like there's uh, like there's you haven't fixed everything yet. So I feel like you like threw it through the board away and you burned it or something. And like it's not going to come back and show up in your living room. Don't worry. But but like you didn't close the portal or they, like I don't know. Like I feel like usually I feel like when you burn a board, it, the portal should close with it. But maybe not. I don't know because I'm not that familiar with boards. I've only used the one a, a few times in my life. Um. But I'm just getting for one person, or this could be like a doll or something, but there is already like, like this might have been like a spirit attached to like a creepy doll or something like that. And, um, and it's, I don't know, like I'm just getting for one person. This is for one specific person. You felt like you got rid of it, but there was something that you needed to do that you didn't do. Like maybe you needed to do someone crossing on yourself or your daughter and you didn't do that. But I'm getting that. So whatever this is, and this isn't to spread fear. It's like, don't panic. You know what I mean? Because you know how to deal with this. You know, if this is for you, you already intuitively know, like you're psychic yourself. You already feel something is off. And I feel like you have dealt with spirits in the past. So this is going to be something that you're going to be able to deal with, you know? Um, but yeah, I feel like for someone, let me see what the energy is here, what I can pick up from it. So I'm getting for one person, it's a Ouija board. And for the second person, it's a, um, it's like something they got at a flea market or a yard sale or somewhere, or like something that was given to them, but there's a dark spirit attached to it. So spirits can attach themselves to objects. Um, cause I saw it in my dream. It was like someone threw away something really morbid and creepy looking, but it was like, I don't know. There's still like, there was like a fire or something that needed to be addressed. I don't know what it was, but, um, but yeah, so for, for the first person, and again, I don't know what the third person's story is for some reason I'm blocked from seeing that energy, but, um, but the first person, and like I said, this is something you would like, you're psychic, you're, you're probably a witch yourself. So you know, you know about these things already. This is something you'd be familiar with. But anyway, for the first person, I feel like, I feel like maybe your daughter has a Ouija board, like somewhere hidden in her room, like a closet or something. And I think that she sees you practicing, um, like witchcraft and like the occult stuff, but there's certain things that you... So she's really curious and I almost feel like, I don't want to say she's competitive with you because it's like you guys have like a friendship. Like I feel like you guys are like best friends almost. Like you're very close to each other, you know. Um, and I feel like there's something about wine, something about a glass of wine. I don't know what that's about. But, um, but yeah, I feel like you're very close to each other. But sometimes it's like you're very feisty and free spirited and she kind of takes after you sometimes where sometimes she wants to be like you and she wants to copy you a little bit. Um, and sometimes she she's very um, like you guys have a good relationship for the most part, but sometimes she's stubborn and she kind of thinks that, you know, she's the mom that she she knows what's best. 
So I feel like, oh, I also heard the name Mikey, Mike, M Mikey, Michaela, an, an M name for somebody. I don't know for who, but for someone here. Um, but please don't freak out. Like if this is for you, don't freak out. This is something that you're going to be able to handle. You're very powerful. You're very spiritual. This is something that you'll be able to get through. So don't worry here. Um, but anyway, she, she's kind of like watching what you do, but I feel like maybe you're like, Maybe you use a Ouija board, but you're super careful about it. Like, you know what you're doing and maybe you're telling her like she can't do it yet. She needs to wait till she's, you know, more experienced, more, you know, more logical because she's very impulsive, I feel like. Or she can be at times very impulsive, you know, and very like, you know, she thinks she knows how it is. Um, so either you use a Ouija board and like she sees you doing it and she wants to do it too, but you don't let her, or you tell her she needs to wait or she needs to do this and this and this, like all these extra steps and she doesn't want to deal with that. Um, or you don't use a Ouija board, but like she, like she knows your beliefs on it. Like you've told her, like, I do not want Ouija boards in this house. Like, like she knows that you're, you're not about the Ouija board life. Like she knows, she knows you're not having it. Um, because I'm getting that there is, and again, please don't panic. And I, I know some readers are going to say like, oh, don't, you know, you, should, you shouldn't tell people things like this. And I'm like, no, this is what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you guys these things so that you can fix these things, so you can address these things. You know, like it's not positive. That's, what, that's why I just, I can't stand readers that are positive vibes only because it's like, how is it positive to ignore a dark spirit in your house? There's nothing positive about that. You should not feed that spirit with fear. You shouldn't give it what it wants, but you should know about it so that you can address it and you can kick that motherfucker out of your house. You know what I mean? Like, but you shouldn't, like, why would you pretend like it's not there? You know what I mean? Just, just, there's a difference between fear and caution. So do not give this spirit fear, but do be cautious. Do be aware of this if this is your energy group but again only for a few people but anyway so your daughter for whatever reason she knows that either you you won't let her use a ouija board yet or there's certain things she there's some there's some disconnect with like ouija boards so she's hiding it in her closet i feel or she's hiding it somewhere in her room and she doesn't know what she's talking to i feel like she thinks that she's talking to a um I'm getting like a, like a female relative. Like maybe she has like a grandma that died or something. Um, or like a grandpa. I'm getting like a, like an older relative. Like she's, or maybe you're like a stepmom and she, and her real mom died or something. And she thinks she's talking to her real mom. It's something like that where she thinks, but I'm feeling like more of like a female energy, but this is basically a demon that's tricking her. And she's not, she's just, she thinks she's, she thinks that she knows what she's doing. She thinks that she's experienced here. Um, so she thinks that she's talking to, you know, your aunt that passed, like your, your, um, her aunt that passed away or her grandma that passed away or whatever. And it's this demon that's tricking her to get in. You know, it's, it's, she's, she's naive. She's impulsive. She's young. So it's kind of using that energy against her. And it's, it's, I get like a very nurturing energy, like it's presenting a very nurturing kind of motherly type energy, even if it's not like a mother that that passed away, it's still like that kind of energy where this this demon is basically presenting itself as a, a relative of yours that passed away. And she's like, she knows that if she came to you and said, hey, I'm, I'm communicating with grandma, that you're going to be like, no, the hell you're not. And you're not going to believe her. But she thinks that she's right. She thinks that she's in the right. She thinks that, you know, she needs to talk to her grandma and you're not going to understand that. So she thinks she's kind of the mom here where she's, you know, hiding this from you because she's like, you're not going to, you know, you're going to take it away from her. And then that there goes her communication with grandma. This is like a relative that I think, I think this relative's death really hurt her. Like she was very close to this relative. So this demon knows that. And that's, and that's, I think she also got the board possibly from like a friend or someone. And she wanted to use it to communicate with this, uh, feminine relative specifically this could be a male and feminine energy but i'm feeling more likely it's probably a female relative but um but yeah it's basically she's communicating with this demon and it's trying to get an in it's there's a portal open in your daughter's room um and she's she's trying to hide this from you she's you know she again she thinks that she's in the right she thinks that she's communicating with you know grandma or auntie or whoever this is and you're you're just not going to understand and you're going to take the board away. So she keeps communicating and this demon is telling her everything that that it, you know, 
that that she wants to hear and and this girl might have a demonic attachment on her at this point um but again i feel like i feel like your experience with these things like i feel like you're a witch or you're a psychic yourself like you're very spiritual so i feel like you've dealt with spirits in the past or like maybe you know somebody that knows how to clear them up and please be careful do not get ripped off by people do not get ripped off by you know like fake um fake pretend shamans or fake pretend you know like oh you have a you have an ancient curse on you i need a thousand dollars to remove it we have to give the spirits a thousand dollars no please be smart don't fall for that gibberish don't fall for that you know dude there's so many scams out there please do not fall for that um and it's not saying, like, if you're dealing with a high-level demon and you need help, that's fine. But, like, you need to go to someone that's trustworthy. You know what I mean? Um, like, don't don't just don't just go to whoever for that. You know what I mean? But I'm getting that most of you can remove this on your own. Like, I'm getting that the people, like, you're powerful yourself and you, um, like, because, like, you feel this, I think, is basically what I'm saying. And I feel like you've dealt with demons or you've dealt with spirits in the past before. So you know how to remove them yourself. I think the thing is that you just didn't, like, you didn't know what this was. Like, you felt like your daughter was acting weird, so maybe you, like, assumed it was drugs. Um, maybe you assumed that they had drugs hidden, or maybe you assumed that, like, she was going through some stuff with her, her girlfriend or her boyfriend. Um, or you, like, like, you felt something. Like, you would see stuff out of the corner of your eye, but, like, maybe you thought it, like, like, you thought it was something else. I don't know. I'm getting, like, your, like, your intuition's been telling you this. This isn't, like, I don't think this is like a shock. I think this is going to like resonate. You're going to be like, oh, this is what's going on. Okay, this all makes sense now. Like it's all going to, you're going to put everything together and be like, oh, wait a minute. This is okay. This makes total sense. You know, if that's for you. Let me get into the second story. I'm sorry for that second person that's waiting for me to get in the second story. I just wanted to do the first one first. Um, but yeah, you're very powerful. I feel like you just, you, you got to get rid of that thing. I personally, I don't know how to deal with Ouija boards, unfortunately, just because I, have, I haven't really experimented with them a whole lot. I've only used them a few times. So I know that you're supposed to burn them from what I've heard, but like maybe you've had, maybe you had bad experience with Ouija boards. So maybe you already know how to deal with them, you know, because um, I'm just getting like, yeah, there's, there's some kind of demonic energy here that needs to be cleared up, but, but you'll be okay. Like you're, you're very strong. Um, you'll be able to address this. You might have a close friend that you know that also, because I feel like you're a psychic or a witch, so I think you have a close friend that you really trust. And again, be really careful about who you trust, but I feel like you have a close friend that you trust that's also into this stuff, and they might be able to give you some advice or help you with this. Like, you might want to get a second person over there to help you remove this. Um, your daughter is going to throw a tantrum because she thinks that she's communicating with, with this older relative. So she is going to freak out. She's not going to, if you go to her and you say, Hey, this isn't, this isn't an older relative. This is a demon. I'm getting that most likely she might believe you, but like, I feel like if she believes you, she's going to feed it with fear and it's not going to be good. Or I feel like if she, um, I feel like if she, like, doesn't believe you, like, then she's going to, like, throw a tantrum and the demon's going to feed off that. I'm just getting the energy that you need to take care of this on your own. Like, maybe have another, um, I get, like, another powerful woman that you know that could help you with this. Like, a, a friend of yours or someone that lives around that could help you with this. Um, so that you might want to have her come to your house or something. But, um, but yeah, I'm getting don't tell your daughter because she's, she's, you know, she's attached to this demon because, and it's on, I, there might, you might need to do uncrossing and clearing her of this thing because it might have made an attachment to her already. Um, that might be why she's acting different and acting weird. And you kind of see like in her eyes, like something's different, but like you feel this, but you just didn't know what it was. You thought maybe it's drugs. Maybe, you know, like you've been trying to put your finger on it and this demon is kind of sneaky and tricky. So it's been trying to convince you like, like you, you, your intuition starts kicking in and then you, you, it tells you something else like, oh no, it's probably drugs or it's probably this or it's probably that, you know? Um, or it tries to like make you doubt yourself basically. So I'm hearing Goliath, Goliath. I don't even know what that means. I don't really want to say, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, yeah. You got to clear that up. 
You will be okay. You need to take action soon though because she's that portal is opening more and more. And the portal, in, in addition to doing uncrossing on yourself, your house, your daughter, you know, whoever else is involved, do uncrossing on the cat. If you have a little black cat, do uncrossing on the cat too. Um, on everybody. Because cats are, you know, animals are very, cats, dogs are very susceptible to spirits. So, so do, honestly, do uncrossing on your animal too. Because your animal might have been trying to protect your daughter from this. If you guys have a cat or a dog, I feel like this animal is protective of your daughter. And this could be for someone, this could be for person too. I don't know if this is for, for I don't know which person this is for. But I'm getting for someone, you have your daughter has an animal that she's close to. And the animal has been fighting that demon spiritually. And so you actually do need to do uncrossing on your cat too or your dog, whoever, whatever this animal is. This animal has been, this animal is your daughter's protector. She's like, your, this animal is like your daughter's little spirit guide in, in kitty, kitty or doggy form or whatever form it comes in. Um, so she, this, this animal has been fighting this demon and trying to warn you. You might, you might hear, if this is like a cat, you like hear the cat meowing and you're like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And it's trying to tell you. It's like, dude check this out and and you, you're like i don't know what meow 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 means <laughs> you know it's like that kind of energy where it's been trying to tell you but this this animal has suffered some um like soul like soul loss or like uh like soul damage you know because animals have souls you know some of these animals are like your past life children you know your past life like spirit guides in animal form and this animal has suffered because of protecting your daughter so this animal needs some healing too if you do spell work Please, please, please do not forget your animal. Your animal needs a crossing done, soul retrieval, and maybe um, some healing work, like some um, like chakra balance. And getting like the animal's chakras are off. Like they need this this kitty. I think it's a kitty. I want to say, um, but I'm I'm feeling because I'm seeing a little black cat or some kind of cat or something. But but yeah, this um, this animal. This animal, I feel like, this animal, I feel like it, um, yeah, it just, it needs some healing. Please do not neglect this animal. This animal has basically sacrificed itself for your daughter. It's, it's put itself in harm's way to protect your daughter. And it's been trying to warn you about this. And you know what? These kind of things can manifest as physical illnesses for animals. So it's not something to take lightly because this could manifest as some kind of disease for this cat if you ignore this. So you really do need to do the spell work for the cat too. Please do not leave them out. But um, but yeah, don't tell your daughter. I think that you need to have that female friend come over or, or someone that you trust in the community. Maybe there's like someone like a like a psychic or a witch in your community that like and again do not be ripped off be smart about this but there might be someone that you've gone to for readings in the in a community in the past that can help you or something of that sort like someone like in person I would I would think you know probably um cuz I'm seeing two very powerful women to get rid of this together basically so I don't know who the other woman is I think it's someone that you already know though someone that you're kind of close to that you have like a friendship with or you've you've like connected with them in some way. You're like, you know that this other person is powerful and spiritual. So you're going to be able to get the help that you need. But, um, but yeah, don't tell your daughter because your daughter is going to freak out. Either she's going to get scared or she's going to just cry because she doesn't want to let go of what she thinks is her, her relative. Um, you will be okay though. You will be able to get rid of this. You know, don't freak out. Um, stay calm, stay grounded. Please, you know, do, you got to do the uncrossing. You've got to do the healing work. You got to do, um, after this, this entity is taken care of, you really need to, um, you know, cleanse everybody, cleanse all the pets, cleanse everybody, uh, cleanse the space, you know, do uncrossing, close the portal to the portal. There's a big portal in your daughter's room that needs to be closed. Close that portal. Um, let me get into story two. And if that's your, if that's you and you want more um, insight, I won't charge you anything because this is a message that came through very strongly. And I, I usually, I very rarely do free readings. Like I do not, you know, please do not message me asking me for free love readings or anything of that sort. That's not something I do. But if I get a strong message like this where I'm like, there's like a demon after, after like a, a kid, then yeah, I'm, I'm not going to charge you for that. It, because I mean, because this came through me, you know what I mean? Like your spirit guides came to me to let me know. So this is really important. So I'm, you know, if you want to email me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to charge you just to give you a little bit more insight into this, you know, um, group. So person number two, your daughter got something from a friend or they got something at like a flea market or a yard sale. They basically got a used object and this object was probably like a creepy doll or something. 
and you felt off about it. You felt weird. You're like, I don't want this thing in the house, but she like convinced you. She's like, oh, look how cute it is. Or like, please, like my friend Becky gave this to me, you know, don't take this away from me. Like, you know what I mean? It's like that kind of energy where she's like, you know, don't like, just, just let it stay. And like, you felt something, you felt a spirit on that doll and like you felt something dark and she has it in her room probably, or she has it. I want to say the bathroom. I don't know why I want to say it's in the bathroom or maybe she takes it in the bathroom sometimes. So I just see like a side bathroom, like by her room. I don't know what that is. So I see all her like makeup and stuff on the counter and like a hairbrush. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But, um, but get rid of it. Get rid of it. You know, burn it. Close the portal. Do the same thing we talked about before. Do the uncrossing. Do the healing with the animals. Anybody involved. Cleanse the space. Cleanse yourselves. Do chakra balancing. Do healing. Call your soul retrieval. You know, do a soul retrieval if you can. Um, you know, banish this demon. Get rid of this demon. Or get rid of these, these, these entities. For the second person, I don't know if it's a demon or not. It might be something else. It might be like a, like a shadow person or some kind of dark spirit. Um, but yeah, you're going to be okay. I think that, again, I think that you guys, for this group, for this, these th three people, you have, um, you have experience with these things. Like you've, you've, you're very intuitive yourself. So this is going to be something that you're, you're able to clear up. You know, don't worry. I feel like you'll get through this. Um, you know, just, just take, you know, do what you need to do now. You know what I mean? Like act quickly. Um, and again, for some, your daughter already has an attachment on her, which, you know, it's not, I've had attachments on me in the past. You know, I don't, I don't these days, like they can't get on me anymore. Like I'm completely protected. People can throw a million attachments at me. I'm good. But, um, but years ago I've had them, you know, like years and years ago. Um, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's like, it's a pain, but you can get rid of them. You can, you can, you can remove them and banish them. So don't freak out. But anyway, yeah, that's the message I have for you guys. So whoever that's for, 